today we're going to be discussing all the tracking features, point of interest, spotlight and active track specifically, also how the new AI features work and we'll be getting into the details of how we can make those finer adjustments to the vehicle tracking and the active track. So let's hit the road. So we're back on our little road trip and uh, we're going down to the old nunnery today which is a great location to be able to do all the tracking shots, the point of interest, spotlight and different tracking. I'm going to track some vehicles as well. Now we're just going to look at the tracking shots and the different options we've got there. So let's just pop the drone in the air. Take off. Home point updated. And you can see on the screen how already uh, the drone starts to focus on me so that's its focus setting it draws a little orange box around when it's close up to you it'll do just the face as well so it's uh, really looking for the moving part uh, object to focus on now what we do want to do is turn that little square with a dot in it and that will bring up all our um, points of interest that it can lock onto. So it's looking for different things that it thinks uh, it can uh, identify. And as you can see, it's put a C1 around me. And if I click my C1 button, which is this button here, it just brings up the focus tracking, uh, the active track spotlight and point of interest there. Now, if we go to the top three dots, right hand side and uh, we go to focus track settings you can see like with the other drones we can track people and vehicles or make specific adjustments for people and vehicles it will track birds and some animals and um, specifically birds and boats but uh, the settings here are particularly for people and vehicles. And then you can do inner and outer um, distances. So at the moment you can see the inner circle is set at five meters and the outer circle 10 meters. So, you know, we can adjust these. So the inner circle, let's say is four meters. And the outer circle might be no, eight meters twice the distance so as the drone would move from circling you on the inner circle to circling you on the outer circle um, it would move out as well and then you can change the height so as you can see there we've gone from um, let's say inner circles two meters we could make the outer circle if we say 10 meters, that'd be quite dramatic. You get a lot of movement out of the scene there. So let's just have a look at that. So that will apply particularly when we do the active track. So if I click on active track. Now, at the moment it's trying to work out where I am. So if I start walking it's already set from behind, but it should follow. It will come around behind me. It just takes a little while to work out the movement. And it'll slowly get it behind me. It's set to the outer circle at the moment. So if you bring it to the inner circle, it will now in on me as you can see there now I'm going to say in a circle in front of me but it's actually now I've tricked it because I've walked in the opposite direction it's got to get around in front of me and it'll be quite close as you can see it starts to come round but it's worked out the direction I'm in and now it will settle down just in front of me like that that's working quite nicely so now I'm going to make it go to the left so I'm going to click 
Uh, let's wait for this person to go. This is go to be in front of me. So I want it. There we go. So should now that's it right. So it knows it's in front of me, and I want to bring it round to um, my left-hand side on the outer wheel. I'm just going to go there, and as you can see, it's just shot round there and gone up. So I can get from outer to outer. Go there. And we can make it go in front of me to the other side and lower down. Yeah, so it's performing those maneuvers very accurately. And that is pretty much where I've put that drone, right there. That's worked really nicely. Now we've got Spotlight, and Spotlight I always like, because whenever I move around, the drone just keeps looking at me, and I like that. So, yes, it'll keep looking at me, but then as I move the drone, it will just turn towards me. Okay. Whatever I do. Still looking at me. I can pilot this around. <laughs> Fantastic. Now we're going to look at point of interest. So if I go into a slightly clearer space. Let's bring it a bit closer. So clearly I'm the point of interest. Let's bring it up a little bit. And now we can just give it some directions. So always make sure you start your recording. And I'll just do it slow. I was calling it fast, but uh, I think it'll probably do it a lot faster and it'll just move around in the direction that I've given it. So we can just uh, stop that. Point of interest again. Let's put it at what I'd call full speed, which is like really buzzing around. So let's see if we can really give it uh, some slow speed. There we go, slow. Okay, so that's nice. Actually, that gives us quite a cinematic feel. And uh, I can actually adjust that mid flight and it continues. which is really nice. Let's see if I can just widen that circle slightly. And I just sneakily change direction whilst it's in motion, whilst it's in flight. And of course at this low level, we're getting this nice building in the background, these ruins. Now, what happens if I walk? Still, it's keen to keep me in the center. I'm gonna track some cars around about here. So we'll get slower moving vehicles on this roundabout. Let's just wait till we see something. That. We're going to track it. It's going to track from behind. Let's 
superb. So just looking at uh, focus track on the uh, car, the vehicles, um, I'm going to put in a circle at uh, say just over 20 meters and then outer circle uh, nearly 40. But inner and outer um, height, I'm going to keep to 50 meters so we're quite clear um, vertically of any vehicles, um, houses and people. And then we just need to look for a vehicle like so. Again, okay, we're going to track them and we're tracking from behind and we're going to move in front. Aha, uh -huh. now this is where the AI is trying to work out where that car is and it's jumping to that beautifully. Okay, and it's working its way to get in front of that. And that car's moving quite quickly and that has managed to do that beautifully. But of course, with the increased speed of the Mavic 4 Pro now, uh, the tracking of vehicles is amazing. And also that AI feature, the way it can um, predict where there's trees and obstacles is a uh, game changer. Yeah, it's really much more advanced. I think there's going to be refinements and tweaks coming our way. And I just love all that uh, technology that they're pumping into this. I just wish um, we could have more uh, adjustments for settings for tracking, you know, wildlife birds or boats. Um, but it seems to be just for you know, sort of people and cars. But uh, great improvements there. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I learned a lot. Uh, if you want to see more videos on the Mavic 4 Pro, check out the playlist over there. Show me love, subscribe to the channel by clicking up there. And I look forward to seeing you over there.